Hey everyone, um, I'm just going to do a quick little uh, do-it-yourself video. Uh, lately I've been in, kind of into the <clears throat> whole spear thing after making the last two, so I thought it would be kind of cool, you know, how cheap could I make a, a short spear with, or a small spear. In this process you can do this with, you know, a much bigger spear, bigger wood pole, and everything else. It's just, I wanted to see how, you know, for inexpensive I could make it. And what you're going to need is a throwing knife, which I have one right here. This is like the generic uh, throwing knife. It's eight and a half inches long. If you wanted to get the bigger one and put it on a larger pole, you could do the same process. But I figured it's kind of a short kind of hand spear, almost like a uh, javelin. Uh, a wood pole, some rope or some twine. You're going to need a wood saw and a metal saw and some super glue. And then you don't need a sanding belt, but it does help out in certain aspects, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But real quick, we'll go over how much the materials cost. This knife I got off eBay for $6.95. So that's why I got it, because it was pretty cheap. Uh, the wood pole, which I have right here, cost $4.12. And then I bought some hemp cord from Michael's. And I had a 50% off coupon that I get <coughs> in my uh, email. And let me tell you, that really helps out with saving money, buying leather and other stuff like that. That only ended up costing $0.80 cents for... Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, eight yards of this. So that'll be more than enough. So, all right, uh, we'll first start off with the wood pole. Let me get this out of the way. I actually will first start off with what I always do is whenever I get a throwing knife or something like this that I've never really owned before, I like to make a quick trace of it just in case I ever want to use this design on anything else and I can trace this onto another piece of steel and make another one. You know, this is some. This is a cheap. I think it's made in Pakistan. Cheap throwing knife. So if I wanted to make something just like this, but out of tool steel or a carbon steel, you know, I got a pattern of it. So I always like to do that just to keep that handy. But anyways, I wanted to find a piece of wood that was the same diameter as the handle, and it was about three quarters of an inch. So. I went to Home Depot and bought a four foot, I think this is four foot, oak pole that's uh, three, qu three quarters of an inch thick to fit into there. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is you need to square off this end and that's where the metal, metal saw is going to come in handy. I'm going to use just a regular hacksaw because I've been doing this real quick and easy. So I'm going to set this up in my vise right there. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Grab my saw. really loud because it was loud in the garage but cut that off uh, you don't want to cut it at a you know a good 90 this is where the sanding or anything like that comes into handy so I'm gonna go over to my sander real quick and just square up this edge Nice and hot. 
So, see I just squared it up, ground it off the edges just to kind of deburr it a little bit. So that's the first step. So you got that. Uh, the next thing which I already pre-did because I don't know how long it was going to take was cutting a slot in your wood dowel. Uh, I cut mine, I think it's three and a half inches down. So this can slide into there. And I actually did it deeper than that little kind of hand stop because that we're actually going to help use that when we tie it on to keep it in place. But, see I marked it down the center, took a saw and just cut all the way down, had to do some trimming on the inside of it, but you can see that's how it's going to fit. Now I have a line marked up here because I'm going to kind of taper this down a little bit. You don't need to do this. I'm just doing it for, I guess, aesthetic reasons. I'm going to taper this down, and I'm also going to taper down. You can see that line I got. I'm going to taper down this end. So we'll go back over to the sander real quick. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's dark in here. I need to get better lighting in here. So we'll do this real quick. As you can see, I just tapered it down just until the line. So it kind of eases the transition from pole to spear tip. I'm going to do the other end. Got a secondary taper on the back end of this. Pretty simple. So now it's all a matter of winding your cord around your pole and knife blade. So we'll see if I can do this in a timely manner to where it's not going to take forever. Make sure it's seated in there well. Um, this is where one of the instances if you want to use super glue or some type of glue to glue this in here just so while you're wrapping it it doesn't come loose or anything like that and it stays in position. So we'll chuck this up and the vise just to hold it. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? I won't try to make that work. I'm going to take my hemp core. Try and unravel this. Uh, hemp's really good. I, I like I like using hemp a lot. It's a strong material. Uh, it's been used throughout history for multiple things. So we'll get get some of that cord. 
and I'm going to take some, do I have any tape? No, I don't have any tape down here. I'm going to start from the bottom up. So, I'm going to leave a little, actually I'm going to wrap this up here so I know I have enough. I'm going to bring it down past the knife blade. Make sure that doesn't move. Then I'm just going to start wrapping. Hopefully you guys can see this. But I'm going to start below the the blade. You're going to want to get a, a nice tight wrap. I usually go a couple times around and then kind of push everything down together. I'm sure this is really exciting to watch. You're going to want to just, you know, take your time. Now the better the better wrap you have, the, the better the fit, the, sp the spear is going to be, less chance of it wobbling around. So just keep moving your way up. Try and do this a little bit faster so I can get to the point of these uh, notches right here, of how that's gonna kinda help. And all in all, I've, it's not, not a bad looking spear. I know it's pretty small, but like I said, if you get a throwing knife that's a lot bigger than this, I know they make this design in a, I think a 10 inch blade. You, know, you can put it on like a, probably a one inch pole. And it's gonna be a lot bigger and won't seem so delicate, I guess. But this is kind of a reminiscent of a javelin from Greeks, Romans. A lot of them used javelins to carry two at a time and throw them to break up the ranks. I know, uh, in Japan, there's a, a smaller version of the Yari that was used. I made, I made one before, it's probably in one of my videos. But now you can see we're getting towards the top. And we're gonna kinda use this, these finger guards as kind of a, a lock for this string. So once you, once I once I get to that point sorry if you couldn't see most of that. I'll push some of this stuff down. This is what happens when you rush. You're going to want to kind of do a crisscross pattern 
up and over back behind it and then down and behind it back up and over behind it and then down So it's going to give a uh, a pattern of an X right there. You need to do that twice, and you come back to this side. And you do the same thing on this side. Over behind it, and then down. So that is how the top's going to look. You can wrap up top too, but you don't necessarily have to. Uh, this is when you can take and tie it off to. I'm loosen this thing up. I accidentally wrap that. That's why I left so much, just in case. You can actually tie it off to this right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around back to this side. Give it another knot. And uh, hemp, you can you can pull pretty pretty tight on hemp. I think this rope is, or this cord, it says it's rated for like 20 pounds. My scissors. Give that a cut. So, left a little bit too much extra down there. I might have to rewrap this once the video is over. But you can see that spear, that's in there. And uh, I guess I'll do a little demonstration. Let's see if I can set this up. Sorry about the light. I said I need to get better lighting in here. Okay. Let me grab the spear. And this is probably from oh, maybe about 10 feet. You might be able to see me throw it from right here, but it's about 10 feet. A little front heavy, but all in all, I think it's a pretty decent spear. This is uh, throwing this from maybe about 15. So hey, not bad for a 
makeshift spear from a crappy throwing knife. God, I wish the lighting was better in here. So yeah, like I said, you can do this with larger throwing knives and a larger pole. But that's pretty much it. A under $12 spear that took me about 20 minutes to make. Probably stain this up and make it look a little bit better. Uh, on a side note, I was going through my collection the other day and I realized that I don't even own a Hachigane uh, headband. So yesterday I found some scrap pieces laying around and made one up. It's all riveted. So yeah, couldn't believe I didn't have one of my all for myself. So I made that up too. So uh, that's really about it. Um, hopefully I'll have another video coming out soon. I got a very large comma that I've been working on. So hopefully I'll get that done. So that's uh, about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little mini spear.